Hey guys, it's Brian from Mountainstone Media coming at you with another web tutorial. In this web tutorial, we're going to go over iCloud, uh, the iCloud app, and how to download the iCloud control panel onto your PC. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our favorite web browser. I like to use Google Chrome. We're going to head over to Google, and we're going to go ahead and download. We're going to go ahead and search the iCloud control panel. Control panel. As you can see, it starts to already pop up. I'm just going to go ahead and click there. And the first link that comes up is the support.apple.com control panel for Windows version 2.0. That's exactly what we need to click on. We need to download the iCloud control panel 2.1 for Windows. So go ahead and click over here on the download button. I've already actually downloaded this on my PC. So I'm going to go ahead and launch that application. Um, what you would do is you would go to the start, you would search in your programs. Um, it might already actually just pop up there real quick. I have it over here into my taskbar already. So this is what it looks like when it launches open. The iCloud, here's what the iCloud is used for. What you do is you have an app on your iDevice, your iPad, your iPod, your iPhone, whatever it is. I personally I have an iPad too. And um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull up in this image. This is what it looks like on my iPad 2 in my settings. Um, I go into my, my settings, my um, general, well not general, you can see I have the iCloud. So I click on it, I touch on it real quick, it pops open here my settings for my iCloud. The iCloud is, is used to transfer files or reminders or mail or contact or bookmarks with Internet Explorer. Um, it's the stuff that you save on your iPad, but you want to use it on your PC. So you need to use the iCloud to transfer those files. Um, or you can plug it into and you can use iTunes to extract files, but this is the nice, cool, new app way to do it. Um, yeah, so basically you just sync your iCloud, you download this um, iCloud control panel, and it's it'll begin working. So what you do is is over here on my iPad, this see this is just an image, so I can't actually slide these these features. Um, but you can see what I do have on. You know, I don't I don't have my mail hooked up to my iCloud. What I like to use iCloud for is for photos and videos. I like photos and videos to just be synced right onto my C drive um, so I don't have to worry about losing any files or how's it going to get there later. It's just automatically there. So what I would do is once I know that I have a decent amount of, of photos in, in my on my iPad, I just come over here to the iCloud, click on it, and then I just click on this storage and backup and it starts syncing. Um, and so where it's syncing to is is in, onto my C drive, onto my computer. Now this i here's where the iCloud control panel comes in handy. Is well, you're asking, well, okay, that's fine and dandy on your iPad or your iPhone, you know, to to have the features there for your iCloud. But now once you get on your computer, uh, how do you manipulate that? How do you utilize the iCloud? Well, here it is. Use this control panel. So this control panel here, you know. It's it's it allows me to choose my choose what I want to sync and it's basically allowing me to control iCloud but for my computer instead of on my iPad. So it's telling me what I have here, my storage, and and what's what what I'm allowing to push. And what I like to be what I like to push to my PC is photo. It's I like using the photo stream. So it has some extra options here. Um, it looks like I can control my photo stream and my shared photos, and it also lets me choose. Uh, a special folder on my computer to save those files to. Now this is what I like about it. Um, so yeah, I use the iCloud to get those files from my iPad to my PC. So and here's how you change which folder to you're you're gonna you're gonna store those files in. So yeah, you just you go over here to your photo stream, you click on options, this pops up, and you can change this to any directory you want to. I've actually created on my C drive the iPad archive folder. Um, yeah, maybe that's what you want to do. iPad archive. You know, maybe even date it. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. So anyway, I click OK, and that's where now my photos, when I back up an iCloud on my iPad, are going to be stored right there on the My C drive just automatically. So let's go ahead and check that out. I'm going to go ahead and pop open my Windows Explorer here. You see it pops open. Let's go ahead and full screen it for you. And I have that iPad archive right on my C drive. So yeah, I click on C drive, and there's my ar iPad archive. Let's double click it. Now I've created some folders here. Um, looks like my photo stream, some shared, some uploads, my photo stream, and look, there it is. There's the photos from my iPad that I had uh, backed up and put on here. 
So yeah, this is really cool. I like this. So I can just, you know, put some photos just real quick onto my PC. This is for sample. And it's just some photos I took. And But also, I like on my iPad, I like to be able to do some screen capturing. Um, so if you hold in the two buttons, the only two buttons on the iPad, you hold those in at the same time, the white circle one and the top, uh, uh, I don't know, the off-on switch at the same time, it will actually do a screen capture. And, you know, as soon as I screen capture, boom, it's now on my PC. So I can quickly edit it, throw it into an editor. In fact, I'm going to, there's, you know, that's how I got this image on for this tutorial. Um, so, yeah, it is very useful. Um, you know, so definitely check out the iCloud. Get it on your uh, iPad, your iDevice, and then also download this iCloud uh, control panel. All right, this has been another tutorial by MountainStoneMedia.net. If you like what you've seen here, go ahead and check out our website. We have plenty more tutorials on there. And go ahead and give us a like. Check us out on our social networks. And keep on nerding. Thanks for checking us out.